to my channel. So today we're going to be working on this large canvas and I pushed it up all the way to the wall. So hopefully you can see everything. It is a bit warped, but it's an old canvas and I'm just going to reuse it as is. I want to make a 3D underwater scene using this plaster. We are also going to be using some gold leaf, but first we need to sketch out our design. I want to follow the flow of the design I saw online. It's going to be kind of a half circle. I think I'm going to start about halfway. I'm doing this because I want a reference point of where my fish are going to go to and where they are going to be swimming up from. So let's start about here. I'm using a 2B pencil. It's fairly soft, so it should be easy to sketch with. I'm going to keep the form quite simple. This will make it a little bit easier to put on the gold leaf. And you're still going to see that they are fishes. And I will be just repeating the same shape over and over, just in different sizes. I think this is going to be about medium, but I'm not sure, maybe I'll go a little bit bigger. Let's do one more together. And I will do the rest off camera. My sketch is done and I'm really liking the flow of it. So now it's time to make the modeling plaster which I'll be putting into this plastic bag. But first we need to mix it up. Let's look at the instructions. So it says for handcraft, you can do one part water and one and a half to two parts of plaster. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six scoops. I think that's going to be enough. Be careful when you're using this plaster, it gets everywhere and you should be wearing a mask. I'm going to add a little bit of acrylic paint. This will help to stick everything together when it's all dry. I'm just going to squeeze a generous amount in there. And now it's time to add some water. I'm not sure how much I need to add, so let's start with one, two... Two and a half spoons of water. Let's see if it's going to be enough. Oh no, it needs a lot more. Let's start by adding two more spoons. You don't want to overdo it because you cannot take it out. I ended up adding two and a half more spoons of water to get to this consistency. I think it needs a little bit more water. So let's add another half spoon of water. And a little bit more paint. I think this will do. It's already looking so much better. This is the consistency I was looking for. Not too thin, but also not too thick. So let's put it into the bag. To make it easier to fill, you put the bag in a cup and then just fold the edge over. This way you don't have to hold it open with one hand and you can just fill it up and it won't fall over. Now you just take the bag out of the cup and you try and close it with as little as air as possible inside. Because the more air you leave inside the bag, the faster the plaster will set up. I'm just going to cut off a tiny corner. You don't want the hole to be too big. Let's start by adding an outline to all of the fish. I'm just going to follow my drawing lines. And I know it looks rough because I'm really not that handy with the bag. But trust me, it will end up looking just fine. I will get back to you once I'm done with all the outlines. Now it's time to fill them all up. Because I did the outlines first, it's easier to fill them up because now the paste is contained within those lines. And to smooth them out, I'm going to use a brush and some water. It would probably be a little bit better to do them just one by one because when I got to the end, the plaster was already setting up and it was quite hard to get them all nice and smooth. But we're going to be fixing that. It's the next day and they are all nice and dry. I don't know why, but some have lighter patches. I think it's because I mixed in some paint and it didn't quite mix in well enough. And as you can see, some areas need a little bit more smoothing. So I'm going to be using a little bit of sandpaper and a nail file to smooth down all the rough areas. Let's start with this one. It is pretty easy to sand. As you can see, now it's nice and smooth, so I'll be just sanding all of these till they're nice and even. 
I'm finally done with all the sanding and I'm ready to move on to the next step and that's painting the background. So let me show you which colors I'll be using. For my lightest blue I'm going to use this turquoise. I buy this paint at the Action. For my medium color I'm going to be using the Petrol. It's one of my favorite colors. And because I don't have a dark blue, I'm going to be using the black to mix with the petrol to make a darker color. I'm going to be using this 5cm or about 2 inch wide brush. And I'm going to load it up with some paint. And then I'm going to be painting starting at the top. This is the area where the water would be meeting the sky, so it should have the brightest color. I'm not adding any water to my paint because I want them to be full coverage. Let's mix up our second color. I'm going to be using about 50% of the turquoise and 50% of the petrol. So let's mix them up and see what we get. I think that's going to be a lovely color. I found that using a small brush to paint the fish works just a little bit better. And it's really a lot faster than the bigger brush. I've got this little 1 inch brush and I want to see if it's going to work a little bit better for the bigger areas. I like this a little bit better than the 2 inch brush. And now I'm just going to use the petrol for the next area. And I'm just going to add more and more black for the lower areas. This is what it's looking like with the first layer and it's nice and dry so it's time to add a second coat. For the second layer we're going to be working again from the top and working our way down. And I'm just going to use the same color so the turquoise and the petrol and a 50-50 blend. And I'm going to be using this 4 inch brush. It has nice sturdy bristles compared to the other brushes. For my second layer it's going to be all about the blending. I want to create a nice gradient going from the top to the bottom. So let's see if we can create this with this brush. And we need to work a little bit faster because for a nice blend the paint needs to be wet. Now I'm just putting the turquoise on one side of the brush and the blended mix on the other. And I'm just going to start by following the division between the two colors and then slowly moving my brush a little bit up and a little bit down. That way the colors are going to blend in the middle. So every time I come to a new transition, I'm just going to load up my brush with the two different colors and repeat the same process for the blending. And just continue till I reach the bottom. So it's all nice and dry and I'm ready to do another step. And that's adding a little bit of texture. And I'm just going to use a piece of this sponge for that. And I just plucked out a couple of little pieces just to create a little bit more of a playful texture. I've added some white to my palette and also a little bit of this turquoise by Lucas Studio. I'm just going to add a little bit of paint to my sponge, like so. And then I just start dabbing. I'm trying to create what it looks like when you're underwater and looking up, seeing the sun coming in through the waves, because now the gradient is just looking really flat. This is the part where you really have to trust the process, because it's going to look really ugly for a while. I'm taking a clean piece of sponge for my white, just to make sure it doesn't mix too much with the blue. And using a clean dry brush, I'm just going to try and blend everything out. I just keep alternating between the brush and the sponge, trying to work quite quickly because you don't want it to dry up too much. And using the base colors, I'm just going to blend everything together. It's really worth your time because it's going to look so much better in the end. Now it's time to add some highlights. I want it to look like the sun rays are coming in through the water. And for this I'm just going to use a fluffy dry brush and my titanium white by Amsterdam. And you only need a little bit of paint, so I just put a little bit in the cap. And I'm just removing the excess on a paper towel. In this case, less is more. It's really easy to overdo it, so start light. And you want to keep brushing in the same direction, so in this case from the top to the bottom and back, because that's the direction of the light. I ended up switching to a smaller brush, so I could get a little bit more precise lines, and then dabbing with a sponge to diffuse them. This creates a little bit of a softer finish. 
And I'm just going to finish off using this old makeup brush. I found that this one works really well. Again, I'm just taking a little bit of the paint on my brush. I really love when my camera focuses on my hand and not on the thing I'm trying to film. But I think you get the point. Just do light strokes and keep adding instead of doing a lot in one go. It's finally time to prepare for the gold leaf. And I'm going to start by adding this foil glue to the fishes. This one is really really thick and it's really hard to get out of the bottle. I'm just going to add a little bit of water and mix it in. That way it's going to be a little bit easier to spread out. I'm just going to use a cheap flat brush to apply the product. Because it's really hard to clean the brush so this one is just going to be thrown out. I'm going to take my time applying it because everywhere the glue gets the foil is going to stick. It is several hours later and the glue is turned all transparent. This means it's ready to add the gold leaf. Because this stuff is really hard to work with, I decided to cut the sheets into two pieces. As you can see, it tends to roll up, so I'm just trying to get it to lay flat on the piece of paper. Let's go ahead and transfer the gold leaf to the fish. Whoops, I dropped it. And now it's already stuck on the fish. So let's just leave it where it is and try and see if we can move it with the brush. I think it's working. Everywhere you put the glue, the foil is going to stick. So you can use a pair of tweezers to just pick up any piece that didn't stick down and move it to an area you need the foil to be. That way you're also not going to waste any of the gold leaf. I'm just going to be repeating this process till I've covered all of the fish. Let's add some bubbles. For this I'm going to be using one of my detail brushes I normally use for my nail art. The colors I'll be using are titanium white, oxide black and some of the petrol. I'm starting by painting the outlines in white, making sure to use some different shapes and to not close the circle fully, making the white line a little bit thicker on the left side. This is where my light source is coming from. And then using some thinned out white, I'm going to add a little reflection. This is going to make them look a little bit more round. And then taking some black and a little bit of the petrol, mixing them together to create a little bit of a darker blue, which I'll be adding as a shadow. This will create even more depth. And now it's time for the final reveal. Look at that shine, it looks amazing in the sun. I really love how 3D my fishes are. I think this is my new favorite piece. What do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts and if you're gonna try it for yourself. I would love to see what you make. Please tag me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really does help the channel. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comment section underneath the video and I will try and answer them as quickly as I can. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!